Hey everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, it's me James, um, we're doing something a little different, um, usually we'll do like a three hour drawing session and pencil out a character and then ink it up, uh, but today um, we only have one hour, so I'm going to try to do, this is kind of like an experimental stream because I'm trying to incorporate a little color into my work, so I have found um, like a picture that I want to try to paint and I'm going to see how much of that I can do in an hour and at the end of the hour um, we'll, ju we'll just see what happened. Okay, let's go over to the drawing desk. So here we are. Um, usually I draw with these guys and, um, and this guy and this guy, but we won't be seeing any of these on this stream because I just put together uh, this watercolor palette. Like I went into my storage and I took these out. I haven't really touched these in years. I had this whole like blank palette that I got um, that I had never really loaded up. So I got to spend a little time yesterday just going through the paints that I had and then figuring out a sensible way to lay them out on here. And this is what I've got so far. I've got, this is sort of like the brown area. I mean, you know what colors are. And I've got these nice like mixing trays in the middle. So I am going to see if I can fit these on. Scoot this over a tiny bit. All right, so I think in the description of the stream, I said that I'm going to try painting a tiger, and I found one. Uh, I found like a reference photo that I'm not going to show on stream, so I don't want my uh, painting to suffer for the comparison. Oh, Gal's in the chat. Yeah, I think I was planning today, and it's tough because I usually like to block out two or three hours to do my normal um, process. But then sometimes when something gets mixed up or I go past what I think is the window, I'm like, oh, well, I guess I can't stream today. So today's a little different. Um, I thought I'd share a little bit of my learning process uh, online with everybody. Since, so since I haven't streamed in a while, oh no. I streamed last week, but since I haven't watercolored in a while, I kind of looked at a painter that I really like, which you guys might know. I'm just going to put her name in the chat. H-D-P-E-S. wish I could type faster. Instagram.com slash. So I think, um, yeah, Little Thunder is the name of the artist that I enjoy quite a bit. Yes, and I did get the handle correctly. It didn't go to some other person. Let me see if I can show that in the window capture. I think I'm not logged into Insta on my desktop right now, so it only shows you like the top view. Okay, but here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so this is what her stuff looks like. So. I think she has great colors, really dramatic scenes. Um, I did try to like do a bunch of studies. Let me just uh, close that for now. But she's a, she's very good. So I, I was just looking at her stuff and like trying to figure out how colors go together, because a lot of her like color combinations are really like surprising to me or like things that I wouldn't have thought of. Um, so. I thought that I would like take what I had learned and like try to do my own painting. And I will be looking at a, a photo, so it's not like totally invented from my mind. Um, let's see. Would it be fair for me to show it? Maybe I should show it. I'm going to. I feel like window capture is always my Achilles heel. Let me see. Can I find. JPEG that I downloaded. Wait, there it is. Okay, 
Okay, okay. So I'm going to show you guys the reference. <laughs> and I found it because I had searched for blep, which is this tongue move that cats do. So let's just um, shrink this down. I'll put this cute little guy up here. Is that going to be in the way? I feel like usually my hand is here. I think that'll be fine. That'll be fine. I feel like I like to have, like if you see my face cam, I like to have that like a little bit off the corner. Okay. So I feel like I've got this watercolor paper. I should just get going because we're down to 51 minutes now. Um, so let me get out. Let me just like make a little rectangle that our painting is going to live inside. You know what? I'm going to freehand it, you know? There. Hmm. I can get the same ratio. Hey, Kathy G. Oh my god, the pressure's on, because this is my first watercoloring stream, and Kathy G. Johnson is a watercoloring expert. So far I've drawn the frame. Are we in focus? That looks pretty good. Okay. Um, feel free to uh, backseat my painting. We need the help. Where's an eraser? I just have the, this is driving me crazy, this extra part of the frame. So let me think. I may need to like slightly sketch in the tiger first. I don't, I'm not quite ready to dive right in with color only. So let me see, let me look at this little character. I mean, this is not going to be like one for one exactly like the picture because like, you know, the picture already exists and I want to try to add something to the world. So this is going to be an interpretation, which will also give me some wiggle room. Yeah. And then there's some shadows up here. I assume that these darker parts in the corners, is that not a really cute picture, Kathy? I'm going to blow that up again for a second. So cute, okay. Shrinking it back down. Um, let's see. How is everything going for you guys? Oh, Kathy, uh, this is kind of off stream business, but thank you for getting in touch for that task. <laughs> I need to follow up with the texts. We could um, chat about that uh, off. Um, Gal, I heard around the Discord that you were feeling a little under the weather. I hope that you get better soon. Oh, man. Let me just bring... I swear I can see it. Okay. Man, I need to get some, some brush to paper soon. So let's see. One great thing about a tiger is like how large the like nose, the like schnozzle area is compared to your uh, house cat. Got some stripes. I don't want to do too much in pencil because then what am I going to paint? I mean, I just need kind of like a framework. And I don't think, like, I don't think we're going to be doing any of this on the stream. Like, we're not going to be doing any inking today, I don't think. It's possible we may, I may take that back later. We'll see. Um, where is my tiger picture? Right there. Okay. So, oh, can't forget the blep. Okay, okay. So far, so good. 
Oh, and just for this occasion, I was really hoping to introduce introduce this during a normal stream, but I made this whole new slide uh, for this segment. So here we are. Um, you've seen this kind of screen arrangement before, and you've seen this, but now we're about to premiere like a new slide. Um, and here it is. Pow. Can you even believe it? Okay. Uh, graphic design is my passion. Uh, so <laughs> uh, let's see. I need to, I got a couple brushes. Like I'm going to be using probably mainly these two brushes. Maybe mainly this one. I don't know. We'll see. So what I should do is I'm going to wet the whole area with clean water. Um, and that will help me work it. I feel like I'm, whenever I'm on stream, I'm always, it always kind of like lights a fire under me. So like, but I feel like with watercolor, I don't know if you, is it, is it good to paint really fast? Cause like when I'm drawing on here, I'm always just like trying to turn things out as rapidly as possible. I'm also not super experienced with this. So I think a slow approach is going to be smarter. Like if you're working on your handwriting or something, you would just go slowly and try to form each letter intentionally. And then as you get used to doing that, you can just like then add the speed. So I think doing a speed painting and I'm inexperienced could lead to disaster. You know what? I think I'm going to work on. Oh, did you see? Um... Gal, I added a bunch of new um, channel points rewards. Like there's, I added draw blindfolded and draw lefty. I don't know if those are like too gimmicky and if people, people pick those and it ends up not being fun, maybe I could take those away, but we'll see how they go at least once. Okay, so this is all wet, and I'm going to work on, I think I'm, I'm going to warm up to the main event. Like, I, we're not going to go right in and paint tiger. We're going to work on this water back here. And what color do I see? Let me look at my reference. All right. I feel like I had this palette rotated opposite of how I had it before, and it was confusing me. Like after working with the palette in this orientation, I sort of like had it in my mind where all the colors were, like how you can imagine like like the supermarket you always go to. You can just like close your eyes and think about where all the vegetables are and where your favorite cereal is. I'm just going to keep my palette the same way that I always have it. So wait, Kathy's dispensing some watercolor wisdom. I always like my layers to dry in between. Hmm. Well, this is okay. I'm excited about what's happening already because I'm doing like a little wet into wet, and hopefully it'll give the same kind of feeling as water. Is this? That might be. That's too intense. Let me just uh, distribute this. I'm just trusting my hand to not get any of this blue stuff. Yeah, I guess the problem with wet is like this blue area is getting into here, which should be that tree shadow, but it's all right. It's all right. I'm actually going to pull it a little more across here. And let's see, like a little bit of a blue pass right here. Okay. 
So that's that's good enough for like the first pass on the water. I think I will do some of those tree reflections, not shadows, I think. Tree reflections on the corners. And like if they do bleed together a little bit, that's kind of good. Okay. Definitely not dark enough. It is green. Yeah. I'm just wary about how much to load up my brush because it's pretty difficult to take things back. But I feel like even when I was like trying these this set out over the last day, like I had tissue handy, so I feel like if I can like dab it a little bit before it dries, there are like I can pick up some of the color if I really have to. Okay. So Hmm. I'm just going to like go over it lots of times and gradually get darker. Little maybe burnt umber mixed in with my green. Okay, that's like a little closer to what I'm seeing on the water. Yeah, I'm actually really glad to be on stream today because I'm uh, going out of town tomorrow. So I wouldn't have been able to stream until Thursday, and that would have been like a whole week off. And I don't want to forget how to be on here. Like I think doing during, I think doing Mononoke Week really helped me kind of get the sense for how to be on here and what it feels like to stream. But if I don't do it for a couple of days, I start, you know, wondering if I remember how. And like I had gone on kind of a long hiatus over the summer and only did like one or two. But uh, these days, these days my stream is it's a little bit like musical comedy Sister Act Two starring Whoopi Goldberg, because I'm back in the habit. Uh, where am I going? Uh, Galuigi asks, I am going to Vermont. Yeah, um, it's one of Kate's college friends um, who lives in Toronto, but that's pretty tough to get to from where we are. I mean, that's more, it's not, I mean, I'm very spoiled with New England distances, like anything more than 45 minutes is like far, or anything more than 20 minutes is far. Um, I think Toronto is like nine or 10 hours drive from here, but Vermont is only like three and a half or four, I think. So yeah, I think they have kind of like a family. Yeah. Like I don't really know how tough it is to get across the border. Like I think people have done it and I do, I feel like I am up to date with all my vaccinations. All right. Uh, let me work on the bank a little bit more. Like, mine looks pretty subdued. I need to get, like, a little bit of this yellow ochre on there. Right. That, that's too yellow. Just pick that up a little bit. And then I see it get, looks like it gets a little darker down by the corner. So let me get a little bit of uh, maybe some Payne's Gray. I feel like I've worked mostly in black and white for like, years. And so like, I'm really enjoying saying again, like some of the names of the paints. Like uh, it was nice to find my tube of sap green, which also is a very lovely color. Oh my god, 225 for a test. I heard there's going to be a program here where they'll start um, not exactly like distributing free home tests here in the US, but like if you get a test at your 
like a home test kit at your pharmacy and then save your receipt, you could get reimbursed through your insurer. Um, which seems like not like the, okay, we're gonna go in and work on the tiger. Maybe not like the most direct way to get test kits into people's homes. But I think it doesn't start until next year, but. Like for some reason it seemed not like the the test kit distribution seemed to not cover Medicare and Medicaid patients, which seems backwards. I don't know. I need to not get too bogged down with bemoaning the US healthcare system and uh you know the current pandemic situation. I want to just like concentrate on tiger painting right now. Let me see. All right, we're starting to find, starting to find this guy a little bit. There's definitely like a lot of white fur on the cheek, so I can't just get everything with this orange. Let's see. And his chest is all light. So I'm trying to figure out. Probably too early to do the stripes. But there's definitely, even though like tigers are orange, there's definitely like multiple shades happening on our our guy here. Like the nose is like more brownish. And then it looks like, Seems like a kind of a richer orange across the top of his head and down his neck scruff, and then like a little lighter in this part. And on the, the paws, definitely lighter. All right, so what I need is like a test, test sheet. Is this the color I want? Yeah. Rather than just testing it on here and then having to take it away. Let's see. There's kind of a tricky thing where, let me just get a, where's my pencil? Like this sort of line is above the water. So there's like this much tiger, like all this, this tiger section here and here is underwater. So how do I express that with the paint? Hmm. Hmm. Like, I feel like that's one of the strengths of this medium is that you can do like lots of light, light layers that sort of add up to the thing you're trying to do. I have heard, I'm still, I'm new at this. So thanks for tuning in to watch me uh, struggle through the early steps. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna see, I have some Payne's Gray on my brush. I'm going to test it out for like tiger stripe lines. Like there's kind of, that looks very high contrast on camera. I guess it looks the same on my board here. I have to be careful if this paper is still wet because it's going to bleed everywhere. But. All right. I mean, potentially, this could be something I would do with black ink, but I'm trying not to lean too much on my comfort zone. All right, and his eyes are closed, so I can paint. I mean, I'm right now I'm essentially using this as black. Let's see. And you know what? I feel like I'm doing I'm doing the stripey parts that are like on top of the white fur. Because I feel like if I do if I do the parts that are on top of the orange fur when I go over it again, it might pick up the stripe color in a way that I don't wish for.
Okay. No, I'm really eager to get... I'm really eager to get that bleb in. So, is it going to be a fatal error to paint this tongue in too early? I think it'll be all right. Let me just test on my test sheet. That's definitely pink. But even on the tongue, like, there's definitely like a different pink on the interior and then like around the lip or edge of the tongue, it's definitely like brighter. It's probably because it's not, I don't know, maybe its own tissue is different, but it's also under a different shadow. Ay ay ay. Who knew that color was this complicated? There's this whole other space over here I haven't got yet. Oh, thank you for the encouragement. And I'm still reeling from the joke D. Rogers put in the stream last time when you had the yayo and the ink bottle, and he said, uh, nice encouragement. I don't know that I will ever live that down. Okay, let's see. I can't really do these stripes yet, because this is, you can probably see from the reflections how wet that still is. But I could do the top of that ear. Ooh, and I could do that. I feel like I could. Okay, now that I've been working on the tiger, like the bank has had like a little time to dry, so I can add a little bit of like texture to it. Just kind of making some lines across here. All right, so I think one thing I'm going to try is how does the like, how does the water interact with the color of the bank? Because I think this part, you can still see like a little bit of the bank as it goes underneath. Let me see if I can find out what happens. And then I'll use that information for when I need to paint the underwater tiger. What color, what color was I using for that? I think I'm mixing up like a little, Hooker there. That's too orange. I don't want the bank to take away from the tiger too much. Well, and this gets pretty dark underneath. Hmm. Not too sure about that. I need to figure out how to make this area darker. I think I need to get out some... I need to like get out the blue and like work on the water a little bit more. Uh, 
I'm going to, yeah, like wet this area. So I feel like if I get out my, I think that's cerulean blue that I was using, but if I put a bunch of that on here, it will make the color more vibrant. It won't really make it darker. So how do I make it darker that or I'm not just like adding gray? I could add perhaps the complementary color, which would be orange. Let's see what we got. That seems about right. Actually, the, yeah, I should get this water a little bit back here. Oh, this is good, because like his fur is white, and so this will like make the tiger stand out some more. We'll just suggest some ripples back here. Now I was trying to like learn how to do this. I was kind of up late last night uh, searching through different people's um, like Twitch art streams. And I found like a bunch of people who were doing watercolor and I just wanted to kind of see what the deal is. And I found like a, a really good watercolorist in Indonesia named I think Watercolor Nana. So I, I should probably give a little shout out to them. Yeah, I'm going to do like a little SO watercolor underscore Nana. Okay, so that was the channel I found last night and kind of helped me out. And I just like to uh, help spread the appreciation. All right. Yeah, I think it's not, you know, I haven't blown this painting yet. I feel like I'm being like a little too tentative, but maybe that's just the best approach to this. Okay. I'm thinking I do want to get some water like over the back of this tiger. So I think I still have some of this left. I'm just going to like, oof, okay. I'm very not used to this. Like what's gonna happen when I brush this over here? That turned out just fine. That's, that's a little too blue because there wasn't any tiger color under there. Oh, it's nice when it turns out that there's sort of like a positive twist, like trying something I've never done before, and then it just like works out okay. Like that's something that I really enjoy about like, say, Kiki's delivery service. Like I feel like there's lots of situations that seem that like they're going to be bad, but then it turns out okay. I suppose, I mean, Gal, I could... I did notice I got out a bunch of drawings that I had done previously um, to test out watercolor on. Like I colored in this Yajirobe from Dragon Ball Z. Like I'd only ever planned this as a black and white drawing, but then I um, colored in his robe and I feel like these rocks don't look too bad. And this sort of like, this like wet cloud texture came out pretty nicely. And like, I tried to get some reflections going in the one star Dragon Ball. Let's see. So I'm kind of noticing like everything in my picture is pretty light. Like there's not a lot of contrast, but let me see how that's still pretty wet. So I shouldn't touch that yet. I bet I could. I'm going to work on this area a little more. 
and then then go back to this guy because then I think these stripes will have dried some and I could do a little more work in here. Like, could I white out watercolor? I mean, there is, like on my palette, there is this white paint, which I think I could put on top of things. I don't really know how translucent it'll be. And if I were to just use my regular uh, whiteout pen, like I don't think any art teachers are gonna come take my painting away. Like this is my stream and my painting. But I don't know how good that would look. Let's see. I said I was gonna work on these. I feel like that's too intense. I should add like a little bit of, like this green is too green. So I'm gonna add the opposite color, um, which is red, to just bring that down a little bit. Let me see. We get some over here too. Okay, that's pretty good. I should draw some stripes on this tiger's back. Now this part, like I feel very comfortable with because it's basically just drawing dark lines with a brush, which I have a lot of experience with. Okay. Still pretty wet on top, so let me see how that responds down here. I do need to like address these paws a little more. These are pretty um, poorly defined at the moment. Yeah, I feel like this is starting to bring it together a little more. Starting to look a little more like a tiger and less just like a orange and white blob. So how do I get these paws to look right? Because they definitely have a lot of texture also. Like this is a very smooth looking paw. Okay, let me see. I'm going to, see they kind of have this light orange wash. So I should add like another layer, something a little darker. Let me just, I should use, let me get out my smaller brush. I'm, this is more for like splodging. Oh, I know, like so large, a tiger paw, like in addition to their large schnozzel. Oh, Gert Vanderwoops is in the chat. Yeah, this is kind of uh, an experimental stream, which is why it's only one hour. So if it's bad, uh, it'll be over soon. But Potentially, this could be like a regular feature in the stream, like penciling for the first hour, and then we do inking, and then I'm just going through this so I can show, uh, sorry, Gert, my new slide, and then pow, color. So I got, this is like a slightly smaller brush, not even that small. I do want to be doing some like fur texture. Let 
So let's see. Do you need to look at my reference? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I think that'll work. Like I have, I'm basically planning what I'm, I'm painting this with like one little hair at the end of the brush and add, just want this to look like a little bit rougher and also a little bit darker. I'll probably like go over it with another wash after this. Actually his nose is like pretty textured also. Oh, uh, we got a real Alex Ross. Wow, I haven't thought of that guy in a long time. Okay, I feel like there's a bunch of face stripes that kind of, there's like a nexus right here. Like the eye, there's like a couple lines that come down and then the cheek and mouth lines all meet up like right here. I need to get those in. Let's see. And man, these cheek lines are so complicated. All right, it's starting to look like something, huh? Okay. All right. Um, I think like I'm sort of, instead of doing one smooth line for the stripe like I was before, I'm kind of having it be like a bunch of little lines that make it look a little more like fur. All right. Is up here. No stripes on the paws. They kind of. Just kind of wrap around this great big head. I think I'm not going to. I guess one thing I remember learning from my painting teacher is that like when you're out Yeah, I know. Wouldn't you give anything to be this tiger sitting in a rippling stream without a care in the world and your tongue just sticking out? Um, I think I was about to say, I remember from my painting teacher them telling us that like, when you look around in the world, like objects don't actually have black outlines around them. And this is me who like spends every hour on this stream, like, finding those outlines and putting black lines on them. Like, I feel like when you look around, things are sort of separated by meaning. Like, here's my laptop. Here's my ring light. Here's my statue of Goku. They don't have black outlines. They just, it's just like color next to color. So this is like a big departure for me because everything that I've practiced says like, oh, we need to like make a line to separate tiger from water, but I think that's accomplished already. Oh, nice uh, blep uh, emotes, Wicked Sir Nick. Let me see, I need... 
Yeah, I mean, basically, that's gal, gal. That's what I would bring to a desert island. Um, this tiger needs to be more orange. That's kind of my main thing that I'm seeing. Also, the water is a little green, has more of a greenish blue, and I've got kind of a whitish blue happening. Guys, Quobot is letting me know that we're kind of in the last round of this stream, because this is only a one hour special. Okay, so let's let's work like a little green color into this. And where's the greenest part? Sort of along this edge, I feel like. So I'm gonna start here and kind of pull this out. It might be too much. I might add some and then try to take some away. Like a little green. Kind of just add a little cerulean back into that so I'm not totally going with a different eye on my test sheet a little bit. I feel like on the top right corner, I'm getting more intense blue. Let's give it that. Like, I don't want this water to be just like one undifferentiated field, that it's not just like a symbol of water, that it recreates like a optical or retinal experience of looking at water. Okay. Yeah, I just need to orange this guy up in the time I have left. I was being, I was holding back before, but um, when the stream is over, uh, the painting is complete. Let's do everything I can. That's, that might be a little too intense, or is it? Let's find out. So, I mean, like, I don't know about that, but let's let's go forward. Hmm. More orange on these paws. Kind of, yeah. This will also take down those fur lines a little bit. Kind of incorporate that in. Definitely need some more orange on top of his head. Like a little part under his eyes. His chin's like a little bit orange, not a lot. Oh, and let's let's work on this blep a little bit. Like a little I'm gonna do like a more intense pink. This brush is too big. I need my smaller brush. I'm gonna do like a more intense pink around the edge. And then do kind of more of a magenta up on the middle here. Like a little bit more purpley in the middle. Oh my God. Wow. And then all right, I've definitely like, I feel like the painting blep is a lot more exaggerated than in the reference. Let's see, I need to also pink up the nose. I'm 
There's, you can see like a little bit of the stripes of the other side. I don't want to do too much over here. Definitely like more. So I feel like their gums are black, maybe. I just need to add like a little more around the mouth here. And I need to def this. This ear, I need to define a little better. It's like some fur inside here. All right, let me definitely like darker between these paws. Hmm. This almost feels like the opposite of the normal order that we do these drawing streams in. Like I'm kind of putting in like these dark parts last, whereas with like an ink drawing, I would try to find these first. Hmm. Something to think about. Let me see. like I need to get this like darker shade like under his brow like where he's kind of scrunching his eyes together Like you can still see some color under here. And since we've got about uh, two and a half minutes, no, three minutes left, I'm kind of going, kind of just looking over the whole thing to see if I'm missing anything, or if there's any like touches that'll really bring it together. Definitely some under here. It's going to like darken up some of these reflections a little bit. Oh, um, I think now's, uh, one thing that I notice on the reference is these whiskers. And this is going to be a perfect opportunity to try out this white watercolor. And then I think that'll be, that'll be stream. I'm just loading up my brush. Why don't we just zoom all the way in, just for this dramatic flourish for the end of stream. Let me see, where is my webcam software? Let's zoom in. Okay, keep, keep, keep going. All right, we're all the way in. So let me just... Uh...
Oh, that doesn't look like a white whisker at all. Okay. Well, I think a lot of this area is already white. Let's see, where did they go? Are there any? There's a few on the other side. Okay. So I'm seeing about 40 seconds left. So that means that's just enough time to say goodbye. Does anyone see a raid channel that we should go look at? I'm going to look at my following tab. I think there's... I just found a nice stream kind of similar to Fluffletown, but it's like sea otters. So I think we are going to raid Marine Mammal Rescue. So let me go over to my thing, Marine Mammal Rescue, start raid. Okay. Um, wait, no, here's the one I want. Uh, thanks for everybody being on the stream. See you later. And raid now.